Welcome to our Five on the Five. Please welcome back the OSF Acting Executive Director, Paul Christie. Paul, good to see you again. Thank you, Craig. Thanks for, thanks for coming back. So it's been, knock on wood, a great season so far as far as smoke and fire, very little of it. You guys have to be pleased. We're excited and relieved. We were ready for anything. And one of the things that, that we prepared for after the 2018 season, which I will say was punishing for mm -hmm. all, um, we tried to make sure that patrons could count on seeing one of our plays no matter what air quality situations came around. So last year, that meant, and this year, moving to the Mountain Avenue Theater just down the street. We had a great arrangement there, great indoor space. Unfortunately, it limits us from 1,200 seats in the Allen Elizabethan Theater down to 400 seats indoors. This year, we planned for that no matter what in August. We were ready, um, if we got the slightest hint of smoke, to make that move. So we trained our actors. We, we built alternate sets so that they could be sized down. And we did all the preparations behind the scenes so that we could move on a moment's notice. Of course, you know, we had the milepost 97 fire at the sure. end of July, so we did activate our move plan. Um, that lasted a few days, and then we saw clear skies. We had sold the seats. We had sold matinees for the first time, which were very popular this year. So we made this somewhat wrenching decision to stay through most of the month of August. And uh, by August 27th, we returned to the Elizabethan Theater, and we've had clear skies ever since. Yeah, it's been, it's been wonderful, but you guys do have to plan for those eventualities. Already looking ahead to next year, you're committing to the Elizabethan, is that right? We've made the decision, and uh, we will be next year for all of our outdoor plays in the Elizabethan Theater outdoors for the entire season. So our plays Black Odyssey, The Tempest, and Bernhard Hamblin, we expect them to be very popular. We expect folks to really enjoy the outdoors. And if the worst happens, we'll take it on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay, and, and so beginning tomorrow, the 17th Tuesday, you, you guys are uh, OSF. Is, is donating infrastructure fees from, from ticket sales to firefighters and the Lomakatsi Restoration Project. Tell us how that came about. So important to us. One of the things we realized both last year and this year was how important firefighters are to the health of the valley, the business, our patrons, and we wanted not just to, to recognize them vocally, but also to make a contribution. So we're doing two things really this year, starting tomorrow. All of the, we call it a ticket infrastructure fee. So we charge a fee to cover credit card and some other costs per order, no matter how many tickets are ordered. We're, we're taking that fee for all the orders that are placed this week any time for the rest of the season, and we're donating, donating that to the Lomakatsi Restoration Project. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of choices. We wanted to support the firefighters directly, and we knew there were a lot of ways to do that, but we were attracted to the Lomakatsi project because not only does it hire local workers to um, clear forest debris, but also is making an investment in the future of the forests above Ashland and in the southern part of the valley. Okay, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. We're here with Paul Christie from the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. So we're talking about uh, beginning tomorrow, Paul, the, the uh, infrastructure fees that OSF is, is donating for, for this week's uh, performances. Uh, a lot of it going to firefighters. Yep. And so anybody who places an order this week, those ticket infrastructure fees will go directly to Lomakatsi. So anytime you place an order for the rest of the season, it will go to that that uh, um, worthy organization. Another thing we're doing, and I'm so glad about this, we have for a long time had a Blue Star program, we call it. Any service member, armed forces member, veterans are always able to get 15% off on all of our ticket fees, including their immediate family. Mm -hmm. So that program we expanded starting tomorrow to red card holders. All firefighters have a red card, which identifies them. If they identify themselves with a red card, either on the phone or at the box office, we will extend that 15% to them as well, and that will go on forever. Okay, wow, very very impressive, well done. I uh, also want to talk about some pretty big picture stuff. You, you mentioned during the break that OSF is, is currently searching for the, I guess, long term, or you're the, as we're talking about, you're the acting we executive are. director for the organization, looking for, for the next executive director. That process has begun? Yep, I'm so delighted to have been the acting executive director for an acting company, what a, what a thrill. Yeah. Um, we knew that long term we needed someone who would be around years, and so the board of directors has launched that search. They'll be announcing it shortly, and we hope that we'll get some good qualified candidates. We'll be interviewing them throughout the course of the fall and probably make a selection in the spring. 
spring. So okay. I'm looking forward to that for a lot of reasons, but one, because it will solidify a, a, some good talent for the organization. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you taking the time. Good to see you as always. Thank you, Craig. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.